What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles. We are looking at this Keystone Bullet 330 BHS today. This is quite possibly my favorite bath and a half bunkhouse travel trailer. We're gonna take a look at why there's really three aspects to this travel trailer that really make it one of my standout favorites. So we're gonna look into that. This is a 2021 model, so it does not have the solar panel that the 2022s are gonna have, but because it's a 2021, it is gonna be less expensive than the 2022s. So I did notice that although it is a 2021, this front cap decal styling does not look like what the 2021s looked like. So it probably has the same styling as the 2022, just doesn't have some of the features that I know are coming standard on the 2022. Really, it's just the solar panel that I know for sure since we haven't actually got a 2022 bullet in yet. But it seems as though the styling for a 2022 should be the exact same as what this one is. So with all that said, let's go dive in and take a look at this thing. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, super excited that you're here. Just sit back and enjoy. And if you like the way that I show these RVs and you get something out of this video, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and become a part of this growing community of RVers. And if you are a returning viewer and you haven't hit that subscribe button already, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Obviously, there's something that you like about how I do these videos. So hit that subscribe button, become a part of the community. Also, the links to my TikTok and Instagram are in the description below, so connect with me there. And finally, my contact information is at the end of the video, so if you have further questions about owning an RV, you can reach out to me there. And if you come to a Holiday World store, let them know that you saw my videos. All right, so as we dive into looking at this Keystone Bullet, the first thing I definitely want to point out is the size of this thing, because there's two aspects to it that are pretty dang impressive. One is going to be just the overall length. It is 37 feet, 10 inches, so just under 38 feet definitely not going to be for somebody that is intimidated with pulling something that is longer in size because it is a pretty dang long travel trailer but what's also really really impressive about that is even at almost 38 feet or uh yeah 38 feet wow i don't know why i almost said inches 38 feet long it is still going to be under 7600 pounds which is absolutely insane I definitely would expect something in this size to weigh more than that. But you can see here, the unloaded vehicle weight or your dry weight is only 7540. So pretty impressive the weight that they're able to keep this under with how long of an RV it is, plus having opposing slide outs in your living area. I think part of what makes this possible is not having a bunk or bedroom slide. So plus you have your kitchen slide on this side, which is going to be a smaller slide out, which is gonna help keep that weight down. So very weight, co weight conscious unit for somebody looking for the maximum size that you can get in a travel trailer. So pretty impressive there. As you can see, the front cap looks really, really great on here. This is a fiberglass automotive style front cap, different from the Bullet Crossfire, which Bullet has two different lines. The Crossfire is gonna be more like their lower level or lower tier line where you can see completely different look between the two and this bullet here is going to be in their higher up line that's going to have more of their higher features and stuff like that standard so we'll get into all that as we walk around but we'll walk around this side first i want to show you how huge this pass-through storage is it is probably i know for sure out of all the brands i carry here this is going to be the widest pass-through storage that we have on any of our travel trailers it's pretty incredible how they're able to make this possible but this pass-through storage just feels like it just goes on forever with how wide it is plus you have a pegboard here so you can hang up different items on here and keep things a little bit more organized for your camping process as you you know think about how to store everything it is going to have a single awning that will come out over the slide out so it's kind of nice that you get the slide out protection from your awning naturally and then I know a lot of people get concerned with the slide out being on a campsite is it's taking up some of your campsite space for your outside entertainment. However, it is a very shallow slide. It has all your kitchen components in it. So it only comes out about 18 to 24 inches or so. It's not like your big sofa and dinette slide that comes out much further. So it's really not eating into too much space there. And you're still going to have a ton of space underneath your awning to hang out. You also have an outside kitchen. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. You have a two burner cooktop and then you're gonna have your dorm style refrigerator. Plus you have a little shelf here where you can store things. And you have um, 
outlets right here as well so you can charge things i found on my last camping trip this spot is actually really convenient just to have a place to charge your phone while you're outside if you need to charge it for anything as you can see there's also two entrances into this rv so that main one is going to go into your living area and then this one here is going into the bunk room i'm going to close this door so we can get the view from the bunks and the windows when we go inside but i want to point out these latches here on the doors you can see they have like a little pin here you actually have to push the, push this out and then the door will drop down and then as you push this up you see how there's a little hole right there it actually just snaps into place on its own and then holds that into place so that it's not going to fall down or anything like that until you push that back out so a new latch system that keystone is using on most of their trailers now that is a little bit different than previous year models you also have your black tank flush right here um your half bath is on the other side of this wall so this is going to be your black tank valve or black tank flush connection spot to hook a hose up to there and flush out that black tank get all the nasty stuff out of there and if you want even more outside entertainment right in the middle of your rv you have a mounting bracket here with an outlet and cable hookups or antenna hookups so that you can enjoy tv out here if that is something that you enjoy while out camping and it's, like i said centralized right in the middle of your trailer so that you're able to get viewing from all around your campsite uh, a couple more things before we go around to the other side you also have electric stabilizers so everything underneath here for your stabilizers both front and back are going to be electric and you have two propane quick connect lines so you have a propane quick connect line there and you have one off the tail end of the rv as well so kind of interesting seeing two different spots that you can hook up propane units or you know propane components from your rv i've usually only seen them like right underneath the outside kitchen but very rarely do they have two different spots where you can hook up something using propane coming around to the back it is camera prepped so you will have a prep spot to put a backup camera if you want to do that which i imagine a lot of people probably would on a unit this size they did change the font on the outside of this bullet compared to last year's i wish i had a, a previous 2021 model to look at I don't right now because we sold all of them because the bullets are super popular due to their interior color as you'll see when we go inside but it does have a more sleek modern looking font I like how like all the letters on there none of them have like the little curls or anything to the font so they look really good um, you do have an outside spray port here as well so right back here you can hook up a hose that will come with your RV to this spot and it'll act as a hose so you have that that you can get onto your campsite if that's something that you need and coming around to this side you're going to have your power plug right here so that's where your 50 amp plug will go it is a 50 amp unit and then you're going to have two different dump valve spots so this here is going to be your um, dump valve for your half bath and then everything else is going to run to that valve up over there on the other side of the slide out so you will have those two different dump spots the only reason you have a second one back here is for the half bath that's going to be it. Everything else will run to this other spot on the other side of the slide out here. As you can see, this is your bigger slide out. So this is going to have your um, pull out sofa and your dinette. So you, it comes out about a foot further than the other one and is a much bigger slide out. So I like how they arranged it so that your bigger slide out is not on your campsite. And that just about completes everything on the outside of this unit. You did have a ladder on the back as well that I didn't point out, but you will have access to the roof and finally with keystone you're always going to have a one-year base warranty and a three-year structural warranty so those will come standard from the keystone factory but that's everything for the outside let's go take a look at the inside as we head inside first of all you're going to have a thermal package the biggest part of this package is it comes with a 30k btu furnace which is the only thing that we have on our lot that's bigger than that is going to be a Keystone Cougar. A Cougar has a 35,000 BTU furnace, which is the same size furnace that comes in like 40 foot plus fifth wheels. So even a 30K BTU furnace, definitely more than enough, especially in warmer climates like Texas, where I'm located at. And then it's going to be again a 330 BHS. And I always like to point out, we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World. And what that means is, if you look at this map here, we have about 130 different locations now as a part of this network that if you are traveling in the middle of a trip 
and you are more than 100 miles away from your home, if you have any sort of emergency that prevents you from being able to use your camper the way that it is supposed to be used, like an AC stops working, refrigerator stops working, you have a major water leak, anything like that, any one of these 130 different dealerships across the United States is going to get you in the front of the line at their service department. And this is something where we know if you're on a trip, the last thing you want to deal with is headaches like that. So we always encourage you to just contact either your salesperson here at Holiday World or our service manager because she gives her personal cell phone number to every one of our customers here at our Dallas location. We encourage you to contact one of us, let us know what zip code you're in, and we will get everything taken care of for you. We'll schedule appointments for you. We'll figure out the closest locations to you. And it's something we really do and we, um, or we really strive to make sure everybody is aware of as a part of being a Holiday World customer because it's a huge, huge deal what that service is for our customers and you want to make sure that you know that you have that because if you're on a trip and something major happens you're going to be taken care of if you're a holiday world customer so i want to make sure you know about that that is one of the many reasons we have a 4.9 star rating with over 1100 reviews here at holiday world of dallas but with all that said let's head inside now because this unit has opposing slide outs you're going to get an island kitchen which is one of the first things I really like about this floor plan. Um, most island kitchen travel trailers that I've seen, like we have a couple like our um, Keystone Outback 340BH and our Keystone Cougar 34 TSB, they're usually upwards of a thousand pounds heavier than what this bullet is. So it's really cool to see an island kitchen bunkhouse unit coming in at this weight. And then you see what makes it so popular having these interior colors where you have the white countertops with the nice looking dark brown to contrast it. You have the white cabinets, looks really good. People are always talking about how good the interior space looks in here. So you can be the judge of that. If you hate it, that's your prerogative too. And some people will just not like it, but let me know down below in the comments what you think about the interior look of this trailer. And if you like the light contrast with the dark or if you like something different. But let's walk around here and just kind of give you a look. As you can see, you're going to get all this different storage in your island. All of these drawers are going to pull out to the same length there. And you'll have a storage shelf underneath here, under your sink. It is a single basin sink that comes with your cutting board cover, stainless steel. And I like that it is centralized. So whether you're right-handed, left-handed, whatever it may be, you have countertop space on both sides, making your life easier. You have another really tall storage compartment there. Whoa, camera's kind of freaking out on me. <laughs> have a really tall storage compartment right here. And then you're gonna have more storage on this side of your kitchen as well. It's going to come with a Furion microwave. It's just gonna be a standard microwave, no convection combo or anything like that. You'll have storage up above your oven and stove. And then you do have a vent going outside of the RV. So the vent here for the, or the fan for this does vent outside of the RV. So if you're cooking, you're good, you'll get a good amount of those smells out of your trailer. Then you have a three burner cooktop. It is a Furion cooktop with a standard RV oven. Nothing crazy there. This unit here, it MSRPs here in Texas with all these options on it at 53,497. So as y'all have probably figured out, I'm not allowed to talk about sales prices here on YouTube. So if you are curious about the sales price of this unit here at our dealership, my contact number is at the end of the video. So you can give me a call there and I would love to help you out further. Or you can also just contact a Holiday World store and we would love to help you out. Just let them know that you saw my videos and uh, they'll get you taken care of at either my location or any of our other locations. You also have a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is becoming pretty standard amongst travel trailers where it is a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. The coolest thing about this is how dang quick it cools down. Like I have a battery hooked up to this and it already feels so good in here. As soon as I opened up this freezer and refrigerator, I just want to stand here because it's already cooling down a ton. So it feels really, really good. And you have so much more space in here than like the eight cubic foot refrigerators that used to come in travel trailers. So excited for that change and seeing that pretty much across everything now. Plus the stainless steel just looks really good in this kitchen. With your dinette table, I always point this out as well. You have a legless dinette. So it is what's called like a dream dinette. 
legless so you don't hit your legs going in and out of there and then it is going to collapse down you just push it down pull this pin out of the way here push it down it will rest on these um little supports right here and then these back cushions will fill it in to make it into another sleeping arrangement but i wouldn't be surprised if you don't ever need that because of the bunk space you have in the back which we'll look at but if you did this unit can sleep up to like 10 people because you have double over double bunks in the back this is going to be a pull out sofa so you could sleep up to two or even three more people on there depending on the size of them and another one or two people here plus two in the bedroom so you're really adding up all your sleeping space definitely going to be a great unit for people with kids that have friends that they want to bring along and need a ton of sleeping capacity like i said you can sleep up to two four five six seven eight nine ten people in here so it's a lot of sleeping capacity also upgraded thomas Payne furniture so you're getting a higher grade furniture than you see in some of your lower class travel trailers your slide out material here this is like a woven vinyl material so I, the biggest thing i like about this is how flexible it is so it will really um, adjust well to coming in and out of here over time and maintain its form and shape and then that's pretty much it in this living area you have your tv set up here more storage compartments and storage up above the tv as well then you're probably wondering pantry space that's what this area is going to be right here so it's not the largest pantry in the world but you do have more storage space here that will most likely be designated for a pantry and then you do have a sound system in the ceiling so you will have that surround sound in here as well let's go into the bunk room here because this bunk room is pretty spectacular and unique you have east to west facing double over double bunks with two windows in each bunk and all of this storage space so you have little cubbies for each bunk plus usb ports right there to charge your phones you're going to have wardrobe storage here then you have removable shelves so you can do whatever you want with these shelves i guess it really could be storage for whatever you want but three different shelves plus a um, rack right there to hang clothes so tons of storage space there but it doesn't even stop there you have more storage space back behind here here and here plus more shelves here so so much storage space i mean it is pretty incredible with the amount of living room space that they already give you that they're able to pack in this much storage space and with it being a barreled ceiling which i didn't even talk about you get tons of ceiling height in here even with me someone being 6'2 i could easily stay in this top bunk and feel like i have plenty of space it doesn't feel claustrophobic or anything like that and then this bottom bunk super easy to get into and both having windows easy to get ventilation the window the windows will open up plus they have the blackout curtains so you can make it dark in here if you want you have your second entrance and you have the half bath so half bath in here it's kind of your standard half bath size that you're used to seeing plus you have the fan in here as well and you have a nice little hook on the door so you can hang up you know towels or clothes or whatever it may be and just a really nice space this unit does only have one ac on it right now but it is a 50 amp unit so you can get a second ac in this bunk room and it is already wired for that and that would be ducted into the system so that is something you can add on you do obviously see you have your ac vent here as well but you can add that on and if you want a tv in the bunk room you can put it on this wall and this wall either between this wall and this stand here you could actually get a pretty dang good sized tv in here like i think i have a samsung 32 inch 4k tv and something like that would fit in this bunk room and fit pretty nicely so really like that space and that is thing number two about this trailer that i really like thing number one was the island kitchen for a unit under 7600 pounds thing number two was the uh bunk room setup that you have in there and thing number three is going to be this bathroom and how it's set up before we get that i want to just show you real quick you do have hooks right here to hang up coats and whatnot when you're coming into your rv you also have a vent right here as well right above the kitchen so you can get all of that you know area just more vented out if you're cooking or whatnot and anyways let's get to the bathroom thing number three that i really like is you have a pass-through main bathroom so good amount of floor space here you're gonna have a corner shower unit so plenty of space in there your sink next to a medicine cabinet and it's going to pass right on through 
to the bedroom. So if you are just taking a shower and you want to go naked straight from the shower to laying in your bed, you can do that. You don't have to worry about going out into a hallway or anything like that, which is what you most commonly see in a lot of the bath and a half uh, bunkhouse travel trailers or even just a single bath bunkhouse travel trailers. It's what I see more often than not. So having direct access to the bedroom without having to go in the hallway is a huge deal and I like that a whole lot. So really excited to see that. And then looking in the bedroom, really nice looking space again with the white cabinetry and everything. It is going to be a queen size bed. You have a lot of storage in here as well for you know not having a full wardrobe closet but the way the front cap is designed there's very little slant to this back wall which one just gives you a little bit more space up here in the bed area but it also gives you a slightly bit more you know storage space here in these compartments as well they also put a little backing back here that's flat so that it gives it more of a you know traditional feel and you don't have it slanting off into the background there so they do that that's where you're going to hang your clothes then you have two pull out drawers here that are pretty deep you can see how deep they are i mean that's probably over a foot and then you have night tops or nightstand space here and additional nightstand space down under here so pretty cool way they lay this out giving you outlets and usb ports back here plus you have two shelves you have a hole down through here so you can let's see if i can show you that hole goes down through there into the bottom so if you have different electrical components you need to wire down into there to plug in you can do that and you'll have that space on both sides and you'll have the same storage over here plus you'll have this compartment that goes into the pass-through storage it's nicer than some of the ones you see on the lower tier travel trailers where it's like just a literal piece of like plywood that you lift up this is actually more you know formal looking and you do have storage underneath the bed. It is a more narrow compartment because of how wide that pass-through storage is that you have up front. So that pass-through storage comes all the way up to this, to the end of this right here. So you can see how, you know, that kind of limits the underneath bed storage you have because of how big that compartment is. But that's everything as far as how this floor plan looks. I do want to talk about one other aspect with the construction of this trailer, and that's going to be in the flooring. You have uh, Hyperdeck flooring in here, which we've talked about before if you followed my channel. And Hyperdeck is something from Keystone where they use non-wooden materials in your flooring. So it's definitely been working really well because they've been doing it for a couple years now and have not let up on it. And I have not heard any complaints about it. So it's doing really well. You can see the components used in the flooring here. The biggest benefit to you is it's going to be completely water resistant. Theoretically, you could take this flooring and fully submerge it in water and come back 10 days later and it would not have absorbed a single drop of that water. So that's going to be a huge aspect to the construction of this RV. Plus, it is more lightweight than wood, so it helps keep the weight down on the RV as well. All right, y'all, I think that just about wraps everything up. If I missed anything, let me know down below in the comments or if you have any questions about anything, let me know down there and we can chat. Um, if not, if you're looking to come into a Holiday World store, you can call the number at the end of this video. It might be that way. I can't. I always forget which way to point. But at the end of the video, a number to contact me will be there. So you can call that number and ask for me. I'd love to help you out. And if you plan on coming to a Holiday World store, whether it be us here in Dallas or one of our other locations, just let them know that you saw my YouTube videos and that's what brought you to Holiday World. That's just one little thing that you can do to help me out to make sure I get recognition for the videos that I make. So... That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all camping.